Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one extraordinary equation that is minus 2 raised to the power x equal to 2 raised to the power x. So I will solve using graphical approach, algebraic approach is not there. Once I will take logarithmic of this equation, then x log of minus 2 log of negative number is not defined. So I rejected that. But we can find out complex solution using algebra. I will show you later. later. Uh, second point is if bracket is not there, then this problem is very easy. How? Minus 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2. 2 raised to the power x is equal to minus 2. You can see the graph. One line which is parallel to x axis and intersecting y axis at minus 2. And left hand side, you are having one monotonic increasing function which is always positive. So this function is always positive. This function is always in, uh, negative. So no intersection, no solution. So, but bracket is there. So we have to classify it. Why? Because of negative 1 raised to the power e1 is always positive. And second thing, negative 1 raised to the power odd is always negative. This is something we will use again and again. And let me classify x. So I am breaking, I am defining this function on the condition of x. So what is the condition? x integer, x rational number. And third case is if x is irrational. So one by one we will see. Now x integer. So again, whether it is odd or even integer. If it is odd integer, then you can see the case minus 2 raised to the power suppose 1 or 3. Then answer will be always negative. So in this case, we will be getting always negative value. Always negative. But it would be real value. Negative but real value. Okay. For even minus 2 raised to the power suppose 2. So that will be always positive and real value. No constraint, no issue. Now come to x rational. x rational means I will consider x form is p over q. Now try to understand. I am going to apply the condition on p and q both. First I will resolve q. See, P and Q both are integers basically. First point, they are integers with no common factor other than 1. Means HCF is 1. Okay. So, if you will see, Q is E1. If Q is E1, that means minus 2 raised to the power, suppose 1 over 2. Then it is ultimately root of I will write 2i square shall I write directly half means square root the power half is square root minus 2 means 2i square i square is a negative one so it is so value is i root 2 now you can see it is not dispute of positive real value or negative real value in this case we are getting complex solution complex root so, if we are plotting x and y means on real axis or x, y, real ground for real values we are plotting, how we can show the value which is imaginary or complex. So, this is again one more point. And see, this graph is not continuous. This graph is oscillatory in nature. It is floating from positive real value to negative real value to complex number to imaginary solution also. Now let's consider the second case. When Q is odd. When Q is odd, you can keep in your mind that 3, 5, 7 like that. So function would be minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 3 in this manner. So what we'll be getting? We'll be getting real value will be getting real value. So that value will be, you can check also. Let me draw the graph. 
negative real value i am i am drawing just i will show you the graph but it is not real value it is negative real value so constraint is if q is even always see if q is even this point then always we are having imaginary solution or complex solution and if q is odd then we are having real valued negative solution now i will apply the condition on p if p is even and if p is odd if p is even then always see if p is even means i am taking example of like 2 over 3 so what 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 this 2 will do it will make our minus positive it it will convert our negative into positive so when p is even will having positive real value real value as a solution and if p is odd now you know it is it is obviously real value but negative negative real value or solution so let me draw the graph now put x equal to 0 x equal to 0 means minus 2 raised to the power 0 so that value will be 1 okay so our story will begin from here put x equal to 1 so minus 2 raised to the power 1 so that value will be minus 2 so immediately if i am putting x equal to 0 and i am putting x equal to 1 my value is oscillating between see it was 1 now it is minus 2 somewhere here this is minus 2 now put x equal to 2 so it will be minus 2 raised to the power 2 so 4 suddenly it is reaching here 4 now you can see its behavior let me in circle f x equal to 4 this is 2 now x equal to 3 then again negative because of 3 odd power so it will be minus 2 so negative weight negative weight and so on so what is happening exactly now i am drawing that 2 raised to the power x if you will see dotted i am showing you see this is the graph of 2 power x put x equal to minus 1 so if i am putting x equal to minus 1 negative integer then value will be minus 2 raised to the power minus 1 so minus 1 over 2 so that means somewhere here now you can see this graph is negative 2 power just mirror image of that so minus of 2 power x now see what what exactly is happening floating oscillatory nature between real positive real and negative real so this graph represents the value is oscillatory between positive real and imaginary real now 2 minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 2 that is the case where we were getting i root 2 as a solution so in that case what we will do that is imaginary solution so we cannot show on the real axis this is y and x so that is also there now come to in between terms means in between 0 and 1 this is the extreme condition we considered 0 1 2 3 now you you have to consider in between so rational case will come into the picture now what we concluded if denominator if q is odd if q is odd then our real solution we will be getting if q is uh, even then you will be getting complex solution so see how complexity is there so point is how we will conclude now third case let me consider the third case that is irrational i am showing you only 2 let me consider minus 2 raised to the power suppose root 2 i am taking so that value will be minus 2 raised to the power 
root 2 I will write 2 raised to the power half. So it shows minus 2 raised to the power 1. So that means minus 2. So for their negative solutions are there and complex solution is also there for irrational roots for irrational x value. Let me show you. See this part minus 2 raised to the power root 3. So it will be minus 2 raised to the power 3 over 3 power 1 by 2. So I am multiplying that exponent. So 3 power 3 over 2. So if you will check it will be minus again complex solution you will be getting minus 2 and root minus 2 cube. So that will be minus 8 and it is square root. So that value will come out iota times 2 root 2 i times 2 root 2. So in irrational case also when x is irrational we will be getting real and complex valued solution. So these are discrete value. We are talking about continuous. So it, this graph is not continuous. This graph is not it is looking like but if you will check alternate it is floating. The behavior is oscillatory. You will check it is like that. Okay. Oscillatory nature. Now let's try using algebra also. So minus 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2. See I know that iota is square root of negative 1. iota square is or i square is negative 1. So I will consider this as 2i square whole power x equal to 2. 2 power x iota power or i power 2x is equal to 2. Now take log both sides. So log ab. So log a plus log b equal to log 2. So I will write 2x log i. You can see it is undefined actually but I am trying to find out what value it will contain. Now you can see x log 2 in next step I will write x log 2 plus 2x log i equal to log 2. So x will be equal to log 2 over log 2 plus 2 log i which is complex. Now you can see left hand side we are having means I am talking about our original graph no solution is there. Left hand side we are having oscillatory behavior of real valued solution I am talking. It is floating between positive real and negative real with complex solution and right hand side is your constant function at x equal to uh, y equal to 2 a line which is parallel to x axis which is continuous this is continuous and this is discrete and oscillatory. So you won't get any real solution. So no solution for real x. I hope you like this video and this is something very analytical means you cannot conclude straight away from any mathematical equation you can conclude your statement it is not possible. But question like this you have to conclude your statement by some arguments. So this is one of them the question. Thank you so much for watching. If you like give like impression and do subscribe my channel also. Thank you.